And that's what this VIP building is. It's like, well, maybe the VIP membership will get better. Probably won't. Yes, well, that was over six months ago, I think seven or eight months ago, that video. And since then, nothing changed up until recently uh, in the last video. I know, uh, also, I just want to say another Jurassic World The Game video. What is this? To 2015? <laughs> but the reason I'm doing this is because there's a new update. And as you may notice, in the top right, we now have our VIP back. But before we get into that, in the last video, I mentioned that I was going to give shout outs to the people that presented me with the best memes or the best uh, trades. Um, so we got, I've already, already said the names. I didn't put up the pictures. I'm so sorry. Jonathan Argulera, who showed uh, one ranch steak for 4 million food, which is an absolute horrible mess. And Tactical Tic Tac, who showed me a custom trade for one Udon for 50 bucks cash. Oh, and you know the annoying thing is, because they use that one trade, although they are VIP, um, they can't. That's a trade wasted. So they either accept the fifty bucks, or they just lose. The, <laughs> they just lose a trade. Also, this lovely meme. I don't know who created this. Forty-six carnivores, thirty-nine herbivores, twenty-one amphibians, twenty-two pterosaurs. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. A good little chuckle. <laughs> So here we are in the game. Also, yes, Discord in the link in the description below, as well as a link for you to get 50, I think, or is it 100 free books in this game? If you just click on that link um, with the app that you or with the device you use this game on, you should be able to get it. Beavers, what have you done? Yes, that's right. Last night, I decided to do it. The game updated. And here we are. What was once where the VIP build, or sorry, the DNA building used to be, the VIP building now stands. And you click on it for the first month. There you go. Up to 1,200 DNA every 12 hours. Now, that's not right away. Again, just like the old DNA building, you're going to have to restart. So, before we get into what this whole thing is, I just want to clarify that I cancelled my subscription about seven months ago in September 2019. And from there, I've saved lots of money because the VIP didn't really change. I think that all that changed was you could, uh, there was more custom trades. You could do more, more custom trades here. Um, well, you could do three instead of one because at one point you could do three. Well, everyone could do three no matter what. Then they reduced it to one for everybody. Then they made VIP be able to be the only type that could trade stuff for cash, as in books. Um, and now they've made it so uh, VIP gets three trades. Everybody, I think, can trade cash. Everybody gets the opportunity. I don't know whether that's in this update that just came out or if it's coming soon uh, because I'm not VIP anymore. I mean, I, I am VIP, so I can't be an un-VIP now. Um, and I'm curious as to whether or not um, I think that's went into effect. So hopefully everybody will, will be able to trade coin for cash again. Uh, so that's a just a general good update. Uh, they've increased the level cap, as you can see, we're on level 86. Because when I went on last night, I just instantly went through it. I wasn't recording. I'm so sorry. Why have I decided to join VIP again? People are like, no, Beaver's going to be tricked. It's not unlimited cooldowns on these things. I know, I saw. Just because I didn't mention it didn't mean I didn't notice it. <laughs> so you can only do, I think. So... Okay, let's talk. VIP food factory. I'm not fussed about it. I get plenty enough food. VIP instant creation lab. That's good. So you instantly get to hybridize or fuse dinosaurs together. Now, it's only like one dinosaur per like 24 hours or something. I'm okay with that. At least I save but loads and loads of books. If Really, I just need to showcase like one dinosaur. But hey ho, maybe we'll get more slots so you can do like three dinosaurs. The... VIP sDNA production site. Again, a similar thing to start. You can only harvest like five super DNA from one. And as time goes on, yada, yada, yada. VIP instant recovery. This is where it's good. So we'll be able to uh, recover um, like one dinosaur every 24 hours. I don't care if that's, or maybe multiples, but not at all like unlimited. Um, that's good for me. Because especially with, you know, Metro Metrophodon or, yeah, Pachygalosaurus. Or I've already, I used it like two days ago. It's still recovering. So to get that instantly back, that's going to be really good. Uh, also, I unfortunately didn't get to do it, but the VIP section I, it was a legendary pack. One of the reasons why I really 
stopped doing VIP was because books were becoming impossible to get and VIP just didn't seem worth it. The battles went up, so you had to do more, and they were harder. Now, I can't click on it, but it was, if you can see down there, coming soon, VIP, the battle event was super hard as well. So not only did you have to, you know, do that battle, use your best creatures, and then take on, you know, th these events, you just had to buy back creatures. So with all these buildings, with the, the, the free buyback, with, uh, and also when I did the VIP uh, battle, the, the levels of the creatures were way lower. Now, I don't know because it was aquatic, maybe it was just averaging down to my aquatic, so there was no level like 300s. Um, maybe that's the case, but it's not bad. And if, if it stays like that for the land, then I'm happy with that. As long as they're not like crazy levels like this one will be. Sorry, uh, this one. But uh, I guess they're, they're not too crazy, are they, those ones? Yeah, I guess that, you know, there's no level like 3000 or whatever. And that's where I'd be really worried. For all the buildings you get... Um, for, uh, being able to, and also, yes, why would you want to be VIP if you can trade books? Well, you get, trades can reward up to 50 bucks each, and Fidelity members can up to 100% more cash. So, that is, um, 100. So, trades can reward up to 50 cash. So, you're only going to get up to 50 cash. So, I click coin, um, oh, I can't. I can't trade cash for coin, really? Oh, so it's not in the game, is it, yet? But I can trade cash for something. Oh, I get my fidelity bonus. So I can trade Aero Titan. Oh, okay. So let's see what I get. Let's trade like four Aero Titans. Let's see what we get. 200 bucks. That's not bad. I mean, for one, it would probably be really, really good. But for four, it's, it's not bad. I'll take it because I don't really need Aero Titan. But, you know, if I could just go Jurassic, go a common fidelity. And, like, how many can I trade? 20 Alanquas. Bear in mind, these cost, like, 50 DNA. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Uh, so, how about I trade... 10 of them. So, let's say if I get 100, that's still good. Okay, there you go. And now I can actually, you know, getting DNA for those is really not worth it. But getting books is. And every day I have my option to do that. Now, the thing is, I am still a Fidelity member as well as a VIP member. I have cancelled my F Fidelity membership because if I'm having one, I'd rather just have the... Uh... <laughs> The, the VIP because you get the building and also the reason why I got the VIP straight away is because the timer starts ticking as soon as you get the VIP membership the timer starts uh, ticking so if you want the newest buildings and the newest things as soon as possible you don't want to waste any more time especially if you're you know a youtuber like me and you want to showcase the stuff you kind of just need to jump on that so as well as being you know wanting to showcase the best things and that's kind of what i do i'm kind of obligated to do this so it's it, i'm not telling you to get vip it's an option. I'm saying that it's better than it used to be. So, we get how much DNA? That was, what, 50? Oh, we can upgrade it for five bucks. <gasps> and we speed up for free. And it has an upgrade. There you go. And next time we will get 200 in 12 hours. Now, that gets harder and harder because then it's two and then it's four and then it's eight and then it's 16. And you, you get it. It takes ages. I still can't believe that even though I got this building bloody leveled up, I still have to wait. I still have to have to... <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to start back from the beginning. And if anybody did stick with the VIP membership, that sucks. They have to start again. I'm I'm kind of okay with it because I cancelled seven months ago. So I saved up seven months worth of VIP when really it wasn't worth it. So now I can do the 50,000 VIP pack if I wanted to for the Acrocanthosaurus. Am I going to do it? No, because Acrocanthosaurus is another carnival and I don't need it. But, the panther, like, these are the ones that you need anyway. So, again, another reason why I'm, I want to be VIP again is because you get double the VIP points for opening packs. So now when I open up a solid gold pack, I lose 10,000. Yes. Ooh, and a Patasaurus. I'll take that. But I get, instead of 650, I get 1,000. 300. So really, I'm only spending 8,700 VIP points for one pack. So when I open 10, I'm saving... What is it? Well, I just said it there. <laughs> like, I'm saving 10,000, basically. So instead of instead of costing 10, it costs 8. So I, I'm almost saving 20,000. I'm, I'm getting like two packs for free. So, you know what? I don't care. I think the only creature that we haven't... Um, 
managed to unlock in the VIPs is the uh, Procoptodon, the Coco Puff. Uh, Panthocet, Panth what's it called? Pano, Panocthesis. That one, I got. I bought loads before it turned into a VIP, so I'm kind of glad for that. Uh, but these guys, if I can get, ooh, Presta Suchis, yes. I'll take it. Let's open up loads, shall we? I think that's our fourth pack. Let's open up ten. Let's go for six more, shall we? So here we go. Solid gold. Ooh, there you go. Whoa. Concavenator. That's not too bad. I don't know if I have that level 50. The level 50? Level 40. I don't know if I have that maxed up. Um, so that is five. So let's go for uh, five more. Oh, unfortunately, that was coin. But another press of suit. Just a good creature. That's an amphibian. Jesus. We need it. So let's go for four. Uh, so that's our fourth one. And... Eumorphodon, Eudemorphodon, another good one, another really flipping good um, flyer, because it's a, well, it's a flyer. <laughs> out of all the dinosaur species, flies and amphibians, there's only, what, 22 pterosaurs and 21 amphibians out of 46 carnivores, 39 herbivores? Yeah, kind of need to do that. Uh, so this is the third last one, unfortunately. Oh, the look! So I spent, what, I don't know, it probably wasn't worth the trade, right? If I wanted to get Panthacathus straight away, I could have just spent 20,000. But if I, you know, I got loads of other good creatures, I get it for free as well. So the second last one, I think it is another concave in it, as well as, you know, we're spending thousands of VIP points. We're getting thousand back though, you know, thousands back. And we're also getting a good creature and DNA and books. The food and coin is kind of wasted. And the final one, what's it going to be? Oh, it's a giant orthocone. Uh, I don't think we have that thing maxed up. So I'm pretty happy for that. So another 1,300. So we were on, what, 200,000? So we spent like 40,000 or something like that. Definitely, maybe 60,000. But we got some good creatures. Ooh, and I'll take another 35 bucks for opening that. Um, and we collected from the DNA building. So I guess we get five of that, I suppose. Every little help. The next building we're going to get is the VIP food factory. Is it worth it? I mean, if you're starting off, it's not too bad. I mean, this is what you get if you instant benefits, exclusive events, DNA production site, loyalty points times two, more custom trades, daily VIP and mystery pack bonuses. That's good. More ways to get super DNA and better cooldown reductions on ads if you want to do that. Um, current amount available. So look, here's the egg hatching instantly, the fusing instantly and the speed up instantly. So the moment I don't have any. Um, and I'm wondering, if you must be able to get multiples. So I, I could speed up three uh, hatches straight away. So if I wanted... Um, you know, a tournament dinosaur, which takes like a week um, to be made like Indoraptor, like Smilodon, like uh, Bonogamus or any of these creatures, I can get it like that, saving me 1,500, if not even more books, if I'm not a VIP. And because this is, you know, something I do for a living, um, it really helps me out. <laughs> yes, it's, it's spending money, but if you want to speed up your creatures, you're gonna have to spend money, unfortunately. Um, and I, I'd rather, this is a better way of helping fund Ludia and getting better games in the future. Like all the money, like I said, I spent in the past, I feel, you know, maybe it wasn't put towards specifically, but it helped them make Jurassic World alive. Um, for what we get for our, our money, uh, VIP is well worth it. It's much better than buying outright one of these packs, definitely. Um, also, I do like this. This is the new thing that I mentioned, how I got Leeds Ichthys, the special offer. So you can have a choice of, if you want, if you want a specific creature, spending an absorbent amount of bucks on a single creature. Should you do that? Probably not. Definitely ain't worth it. Not a good use of your bucks. Um, but I like this. It, there's, there's now a reason to sort of come into the market to check the best offer. You know, sometimes there's uh, packs that... Um, yeah, this is interesting. So one pound and you get 4,000 DNA. If I was just starting off like... Back in 2015, if this was an option, I would be doing a video comparing like one pound gets me like 4,000 DNA or I could spend a hundred pound getting what a guaranteed 5,000 DNA plus a hybrid. But you can only get three, right? I was going to say, is it better to buy a hundred of these? So you'd get 400,000 DNA or just spend it on one of these. I would probably say... 
Yeah, it's better to just buy a hundred of the mini DNA. That's but that's why they put a limit on it, which is such a shame. Because if you were gonna blast through it, also you'd get VIP points every time you open a pack. So that's the best way to do it. But like in Pokemon Go, when you're gonna you know level up loads of creatures, it's like well put on a lucky egg so you get loads of experience. That sort of thing. How about we now go into this? So we are only 86. So we're gonna do one actually, and that's just seven thousand for free. And what kind of creatures are we facing? I tell you what kind of creatures we're facing. Something an Indoraptor can definitely take on. Yes. So now I've got to start to begin the long journey of maxing up to the new level cap. 90. Um, for the longest time, for years, for years and years and years, I, I might add, they never put a level cap in the game. It was stuck at level... Was it 75 or 80 or something? For ages. Um, but recently, I mean, within, what, a couple of months, if that, they've put in two updates, increasing the level cap, increasing the battle stage infinite. It seems like they're listening. People want to progress. You don't want to just get to the top and then just, oh, God, that's killed me. Oh, oh no, interrupted, no. Well, it's dead anyway, because we've got seven. I think we can kill it in... I factor in one just in case, but yeah, I, I was sure it had already went for all its attacks. And I also do apologize if everybody was like, oh yes, another Gaming Beaver video. Oh wait, it's Jurassic World the game. I do apologize. I think what I'm trying to do these days is make sure that on the weekends like Friday, Saturday or Sunday, it's something different. It's like a, you know, Empires of the Undergrowth or The Isle or something that, you know, takes a while to edit. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just because of the recent, you know, pandemic that's going on at the moment, but, um, it's, it's just like, I want to relax a bit more. Like, it's so stressful that I just want to, I want to chill. <laughs> I don't want to be sat at my computer, uh, all the time like normal. Um, and I just want to, oh, look, it's, it's code 19. Oh, oh, there's 7,000 as well. We'll take all that. Code 19, and you couldn't have thought of a better name, could you, <laughs> for what's going on like, right now? I think I saw, I, I, I saw somebody comment that, and I didn't put two and two together until I saw that comment. I thought, wait a minute, that guy's got a point. <laughs> We're in the midst of a Code 19 ourselves, and it's about containment as well. Oh, dear. I think I'm on day 44 of quarantine, I think. Something like that in the UK. Jeez. But no end in sight. What can you do? I tell you what you can do. You can blow all your money on a VIP membership, James. <laughs> oh, God. I wonder. Uh, that would be an interesting video. If uh, uh, for a day or for a week, I spent as much money as was possible on special events and stuff for Jurassic World Alive and Jurassic World The Game. How much money could I blow through? How, mu how much would the game allow me to spend? Well, actually, that's a terrible idea because it's unlimited. <laughs> There's no limit to packs. I could spend a million, five billion on it and it would be like, yeah, that's fine. Just keep on giving us money. <laughs> oh, dear. Like that, what was it? Um, it was a, a horror story. Well, not really a horror story. Uh, do we get any good trades? I didn't check this, actually. Oh, God, that's awful. Oh, look! Our VIP exclusive deal, and it's absolute garbage, as they always have been. Uh, anything? DNA for food, VIP points for food. If they were... Okay, l right. Let me... Let me ask you this. So, th oh, that, that deal's just gone. Well, I don't care, right? If it was the other way around, would these be deals you take? Would you spend food for that? Well... Probably not. I think this is probably one of the only times that that's decent. Would you buy that? Oh yes, you'd buy that. Would you buy this? Oh yes, you'd buy that. How about this? Eh, possibly. Depends which one you want more. How about this? Yes, you'd do that. How about this? Yes, you'd do that. And this is the problem with the trades. This isn't random. Ludia knows that they don't want that the trades to be the other way around. But I don't understand because... Well, I do understand because I want to stunt uh, pro progress in the game. 
But if you've got more people with better trades coming through, you've got more people spending more time on the game and therefore possibly, you know, maybe spending money, maybe because they're spending so much time on the game, they're like, oh, hell yeah, I'll do VIP. I'll be able to blast through this in no time. Like, the progress, the level I'm at in the game has taken me five years, if not a little bit longer, because this game did come out, I think, at the start of 2015. So anyway, it's five years to get to this point, exploiting all the glitches that came out, and we're here. Ludia, you don't need to worry about people progressing fast through your game, because this was me, and it's taken me five years. I'm going to go out on a limb and say in five years time, you might, dis you might discontinue this game. I don't know. <laughs> you don't need to stun people's progress. Um, that's why people like this game is because they get to go through it at a breakneck pace. Also, they've added expansions into um, Isla Sauna. Now, it's kind of annoying because I wanted to keep a big jungle in the middle. And uh, now they've like... You know, they, they, you can now expand out this way, which would have been so much nicer if I could have just kept, like, where all these John Hammonds are as trees. Which is such a shame, but maybe I couldn't... No, I could have done that. Yeah, because I'm going that way. So, I guess I'll excavate it. And that one costs 200 bucks. We're definitely not going to do that. So, let's go for the Rarity Rumble. Maybe we'll win a Legendary Rumble. So, this is a super hard team. A Glyphornax... Glyphornax and Segna Sutius. So, really, best team would technically be an amphibian, a carnivore, and an amphibian. Or, because there's plenty of carnivores, I mean, there's more than double carnivores than there are amphibians in the game. Uh, you might as well just go for carnivores. Um, although, saying that, they these are pretty darn tough. And at least this way, you don't have to worry about, you know, oh no, if you've got an amphibian coming and Segna Sutius will may swap in and stay alive and then you know you're not nerfing their attack and you're about to get rinsed uh so we're definitely gonna go for one block because we're gonna die <gasps> oh look it's like barney except for instead of pink he's purple oh he goes for one now this is good this means that we can go for two block and definitely survive even if he does go for three we're gonna win this pack okie dokie uh now i'm gonna go for just three <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go for threes of just in case. He's got four, so he still can't kill me, guaranteed. But he might do it. He might just go for two. Oh, he goes for four. Okay, that's that's not too bad. So 1,900 attack to 1,700. That's not gonna make too much of a difference. Uh, so one, two, three. Aha! We still kill him. So I think he can kill me. I'm gonna have to go for three block here. I'm gonna have to go for three block because I think two might be just enough to kill me. Ooh, you know what? I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Depending on what he goes for here. Oh, yes! Yeah, no, he definitely killed me in one more. Definitely. Okay, so one, two, three. And then two reserves, and we've won! Sigma Sutures doesn't have amazing health. I mean, it's 4,000. It's pretty decent. But for the attack it has, it's not very good. So, Tiny Colagrius. Oh! Oh, yes! He went for all of it, and there you go. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Tiny Cola. Grius. Bam. And there you go. One out of four. So, guys, let me know. What do you think of this VIP update? And do you have the VIP? Did, or did you have it before? Or has this finally pushed you over to maybe purchase it? I'm kind of curious. Just a little bit. So here we go. Uh, now, this is a terrible team, actually, to face up against because Carnivore's weakness amphibian and they've got a pterosaur, which could be easy, which could easily wreck us. Um, uh, yeah, I guess. Ooh, it's not too great here. Um, you know, we'll go for Ulophosaurus because we've got one, two, three, four Carnivores still left to use and we've got two battles. So we'll just go right off the bat and go for one block. These are tough. Man. These are really tough. Oh, he does it. Right. Now, unfortunately, we have to go for two block. In the perfect world, we would be able to survive one more hit, but we can't. And now it's not looking too good. So three reserves. Ooh. He's not going to do it. He might not. He could, but he might not. Aha. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Um, we could attack him, but uh, that it's 
He might... Yeah, three block. Whew. We would have had to have gone for six, which would have left us with one reserve. Uh, so he's got none, I think, actually. So this is a better situation to be in. If you feel like... If they've got a lot of potential block and you, you need to go for three to kill them, it's probably best not to. Especially if it's a tight team like this. Like, this is a really close matchup. Um, now, I'm going to go for four reserves here. Because he can't kill me in one. He, might, he, he can kill me in two, but I've got a possibility of four blocks. So, the bot might not go for it. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for. Aha! And it paid off. So, one, two, three, four. Factor in two. And then two reserves. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so he's going to go for an all-out hit here because two can kill me. So there's the four. Okay. Now two, I think, can kill him from Erlophosaurus. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. One, two. Does kill him. Okay. Now, how much does Metrophagon have? It has 4,000 attacks, so he can kill me in, th in two. So we have to go for that. We have to go for three block and one reserve. Now, as long as Metrophagon attacks us with one, if he doesn't, it's 50-50. It's 50-50. It's Oh, there you go. Whoa, I was lucky. Ooh. Now, we could have done this with Indominus Rex um, level 30. But it was just a little bit risky. Because I don't think that uh, Indominus Rex level 30 could have survived a single hit there. Oh, perfect. We can switch to amphibians. Right, okay. Let's, let's do it. Because um, we're nullifying their attack by 50% already. And we're gaining 50% bonus. So we don't even have to go for our best creatures. We can go for that. I think that's going to be good enough. Now look at that. It can't even touch this. And we've got... we got Indoraptor Jet... Well, level 10 uh, attack stats there. Sorry, I get confused. It's like Indoraptor Gen 2, uh, level 30. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to go for three reserves. Sod it. We can easy do it. I mean, he does have 15,000 health, though. So that's... That's a little bit of a thorn in my side. Oh, yes! We've got six and he's open! You left yourself wide open. Although it still took five to kill him. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, he's gonna have to go all out to kill me. Wow. Oh, wait, what? I could've... Oh, oops, no. Ah, if we had a little bit more health, maybe. Okay. So, he could have five. Um, he can't kill me in... Oh, he can kill me in two. Okay, I'm gonna have to go for four block, one reserve. And he did have five. Wow. Whew. That was close. Okay. Oh, he goes for four. Oh, this is gonna be close, guys. This is gonna be so close. I'm gonna go for four reserves, one block. I'm gonna do it. He's got five. He can't guarantee to kill me, though. I think he's gonna do it. Oh, you bugger you. I think we've lost. I think we've lost. It was doable. We just got unlucky. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, and then, ooh, ooh, I think it's, even with, I mean, how much attacks are going to have, 900? I think we've survived, I think we might have even done it, ah, oh, you bugger, you, he's going to have five, two, four, six, eight, ooh, can we kill him in four, that's the question, that's the question. Oh, what do we do, guys? I don't... Two, four, six, eight, eight thousand. Is that enough, though? Two, four, six, eight. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's wide open, but do we do it? I don't know if we can... Two, four, six, eight. It's eight thousand. We, we have to double. I don't know if we can double our attack there. I don't think we can. We probably do 1,400, I think. I think that's how much we do. No, 1,000. Sorry, 14,000. I don't think we do 16,000. So what I'm going to do is because I can definitely survive one hit, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for three block, one reserve. Hopefully he goes for four here. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's just in it. Now, was I right? Was I right? Is four enough to kill him? One, two, three. It wasn't. Oh, yes. Oh, Beaver, you played it so well. <laughs> that was close. I thought it was 14,000. I think I just vaguely remember seeing it flash up for a second. 
Right, 50 years. And the final one. Ooh, it's a mixed bag. But nothing that uh, some carnivores can't deal with. So we'll go for Indominus Rex level 30. Just to, like, maybe bring out the metro Metrophodon, I think. Then an Indoraptor. And... Ooh, 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 is it worth it? You know what? Let's play it safe. Let's go for two level 20 Indoraptors. Let's do it. So right off the bat, one block. We need it. Now, we haven't used... I mean, apart from Erlophosaurus, they're not two crazy creatures. I mean, they are, like, from a general... Like, they're, they're end-game creatures, but they're not, you know, a level 40 Udon. The Erlophosaurus is probably the most egregious I've used. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna go for two block. He can't kill me. I don't know why he didn't go for Metrophodon there. Or Metrophodon. He could have done way more. He could have done way more damage. Okay. Okay. Three reserves. <laughs> Three, four, five. Oh, that's enough. He might go for it all. Oh, do it. Kill me. Yes. Woohoo. Right. Turns out 14,000 attack into... Oh, sorry. 1,400 into 3,500. Doubling the attack. Uh, so he's got nothing and that kills him. Might as well just go for three reserves because we got two Indoraptors and probably gonna have to go for at least two to kill me. So chances are, if they do kill me, they're going for a high number. They're, they're leaving themselves wide open. And they do it and that's it. Game set match. That's two attacks and then th two blocks and we're done. Uh, one, two. One, two. Um, he's gonna have... Oh, how much is he gonna have? 2,250 attacks, something like that. Oh, I might as well do that just in case, because we kill Segna Suchus in two hits. So as long as we have two reserves, nothing it can do. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. So now I'm gonna I'm forced to play the game loads because I need to get to the next level cap in order to do those battle stage infinites. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of John Hammond statues, I tell you. Ooh. Will we do it? Will we get the Rarity Rumble Pack? It hasn't even came up yet. You know what? I'll take it. Eyes! Yes! And Stakeholders Event, which is just as terrible. Although, albeit, it's only three battles. But I ain't gonna do it. Um, and that's another 14 each for the Super DNA. And there we have it. Guys. VIP. Worth it? Yay or nay? Let me know. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, stay safe. I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye